chop up. Yes, indeed. Uh, how you feeling, man? Man, I'm well. I'm well. Good. Happy to be good. back. How you feeling, Lolo? I'm good, man. I'm good. Man. How you doing, Nicole? Hey, I'm good. Good. That's what I'm we, talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate y'all, man. Y'all yes, man, man, man is look good, so. Yes, indeed. All right, here we are. We're back again with Bone Document at the Chop Up. How you doing? It's me, Solomon Vaughn, a.k.a. Booney Mayfield. That's your boy, Justin Spio. Back at it. And, uh, yeah, we are now on our second official episode. We made it. And I'm wanting to continue on with our topic of career transitions. Right. Uh, I think there's still plenty more to touch on there's a about lot. it. <laughs> the, the last last episode was more of an introduction. I don't think we got into it in you know too in depth. So I really wanted to touch more on the lows right. of the career transition experience. Okay. Uh, because I know you know we both have been experiencing that in the past and even up Boy. to this point. Right. I think one of the key words. Uh, that we both are feeling is limbo. Right. Where where you feel like you're in limbo because it's you're not where you used to be. Right. You know, you've progressed, but yet you're not where you still not where yeah, you want to be. It's kind of a weird space, kind of like a gray space. You know, it's neither black or white. You know, you're just right in the middle. You don't know, kind of going back, sometimes going forward, just kind of yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I, I think like, in that process is kind of similar to, you know, when a caterpillar goes uh, through the metamorphosis of becoming a butterfly. Right. It's like when they go into a cocoon, it's like they essentially die. Yeah, it's not fun. They, they, they you know, <laughs> they essentially die. They turn into mush right. at that point. They completely lose the, their form mm -hmm. that they were used to. Right. And then in that process, they're just, and it feels like that. It yeah. just feels like mush. <laughs> Yeah. At this, it you does. know, at these points and stuff, while you're still taking shape into the next, you know, endeavor or whatever it may be, the, the next level, of, you know, everything mm -hmm. that you're going. So, um, in the process that you've been in limbo, I mean, how have you been feeling? Like, what's... <sighs> man, it's it's tough. It's tough because sometimes you just, for me, I I kind of just it's this it's a sense of. Like, what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. am I of any help to anybody or to myself? Just like, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. That's kind of like my problem. That's where I feel in limbo. Because, you know, you want to be of service to people. You want to be able to, you know, be an impact to someone. But sometimes right. if you don't know where you are, it's kind of yeah. hard to to feel like you're being a positive influence on anybody, you know? Yeah. Um, it's almost like you, you, you lose a feeling of, or a sense of purpose. Right. That's at the time. That's it. Is losing a sense of purpose. So that was my that's was my thing. Yeah. With this whole career change, into coming into like entertainment, where it was like stuff was working at first, but now sometimes it's kind of like at a standstill. It's like, hey, yeah. what am I doing? Am I am I progressing or mm -hmm. am I going back? Am I stagnant? But it's just like, I feel like I'm doing stuff to go forward, but sometimes you, you don't see the outcome of it. You yeah. Know? Exactly. Yeah. Um, you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It is this. Um, it's almost like it, you continue to put in effort, and and how I've I felt like it's just like doing project right. after project after because you've done other a things. lot of things. Yeah, it's lot. just it's a lot of projects, but it's just like I don't really see any fruit from it. Right. You know, from the labor yet, and so then it comes to a point. It's just like. Man, and like, is any of this really worth it so as right far, now? Question: As far as you saying the fruit, what mm -hmm. would be the fruit of it? Like, because everybody has their own reasons why they do something. So yeah. as far as you saying, quote unquote, the fruit, what is that? Like, what do you like? What are you looking for? Well, there, there is, there's a couple aspects where it's just like, since you know, being an artist full time, mm -hmm. it's like you're having to make a living off of this. Right. So it's just like. You're hoping for some income to maintain, oh, <laughs> and of course, you're hoping for it to increase at right. some point. As as your work and the quality of your work increases, you're hoping for the income and not just the income, but the audience right. uh, to increase. Yeah. So for me, it was like the quality, the effort, the work. All this is increasing while the audience was decreasing. Okay, and and I remember seeing an article that. You know, a blog wrote about me one time where it was just like, 
he's grown so much musically. And even though his music's getting better, his mm -hmm. product is getting better and stuff, it's just like his fan base has oh, decreased. Oh, so they said that. They even said, they, it, was, it was noticeable. Like, it, it's in, in the, you can even see it where it's just like, okay, I was getting this amount of kind of views yeah. at a point where I was doing this, mm -hmm. but it's just like, as time growing, it's just like, just so, decline so and decline. What, what did that article, like, that's weird that I feel like they would do that, but what did that article do to you? Like, how did you, like, was it? I, I'd have to go back to the article to really read it. It okay. wasn't on a context of like, it, it was on a context of like, man, this sucks. Like, this person is so, oh, so great. Okay. Yeah, so, they so great like, at what okay. they do, right. but it's okay. just like, they're noticing the audience decrease and 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 stuff. So, um, what it made me feel like from that article is like, okay, I'm not the only one aware of this and feeling this. Right. You know, I I have come across meeting people who have like said to me like, man, I have felt frustrated for you, yeah. seeing how much you have put in, and, um, you know, the efforts, and yet things haven't, Just you not, know, not seen that full return. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Man. But I guess that's just that's just the kind of like the career that we're in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's a risk. You take a choice. If, if whatever in the entertainment, it's not like a you know, nine to five job, you do this, boom, then you get this paycheck and then it's okay. just like repetitive. It's not like that, you know. No, it can be all. great at times. People are loving your stuff, they're rocking with you. Yeah. And at other times it could just be nothing. Yeah. Nobody yeah. cares, nobody's looking right. for you. Exactly. Um you might have just they might have just Past, like yo, mm. your time is gone. Yeah. So it's um, it's, it, it, can, it can be frustrating. Like yeah, you know, it can be definitely frustrating. Yeah, and and at at that point, it's like, you know, you have when you have a sense of purpose. Right. It's not like I know it's it's not like you just go in and not feeling a sense of purpose at all when you're doing what you. No, you have a sense of purpose. Like right. this is what I'm wanting to do. This is where I'm trying to go with it. Mm -hmm. But as you're doing it and things ain't coming together yeah. yet, it starts to feel like, yeah, am, am I, I even meant to do this? Yeah. Am I, yes. you know, it's just like, should I just, <laughs> just stop at yeah. this point? Yeah, the motivation, your motivation can go down. Exactly. Like my motive, like I stopped. I, like I, I, when I came out here, I had a commercial agent um, and a theatrical agent, and ended up dropping them both at some point because I was like, it's not going anywhere. Mm. You know, I just felt like I was going to auditions, doing this, doing this, and it just wasn't going anywhere. So right. I let it affect me to the point where I was just like, man, I'm not. This is not for me. Yeah. So it just happened. It just happened to me, and then I, I got, you know, God's so good. I kind of, you know, got back on my feet, got my mental mm -hmm. right, and got into and uh, signed with a different uh, agent. Mm -hmm. I don't know, months later. Yeah. But it did get to me to some point where I just quit. You yeah. know, I just, and it's kind of, at that, I'm kind of at that point right now because it's like I'm trans, you know, I'm translating it to, you know, real estate, trying to, getting, a, a, not away from the entertainment game, but yeah. just trying to do more, uh, the, just broadening my horizon. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just kind of like, Man, what, what, you know, it's the, as you said, it's, we're in limbo. It's like, what am right. I doing? Like, should I stay with this or should I just stop that again and then move on to something else? But yeah. then, you know, I just don't know what I'm doing. But it's just like, hey, yeah. I'm just trying to take it a day at a time and, I agree. and try to manage the pieces that I have in front of me yeah. and try to and try to put them together. So Yeah, that, that, that makes a lot of sense because, like, I think we say career transition. We're mm -hmm. saying transition. But at the same time, sometimes it's not... It's a better word could be expansion, right? Because right. you know when you're expanding uh, your horizons and stuff like that, you've already planted some seeds See, yeah, with this <clears throat> aspect already, right. and it's just like you can stand there and just keep on planting seeds and watering the seeds, watering it, and it's just like, hey, just let it grow. Right. Like, you already planted the seed. Go over here now, plant this seed. Get get you know this this uh, area of crops together right, and stuff right. like that. And to some people, it can be confusing because they're just like, wait, I thought you were doing this. And yeah. it's like, hey, man, I'm I'm trying to be more well-rounded rather than just sticking to this one thing. And that's another thing, too. What people say, the hearsay, what they think you should be doing or what they think you are doing, which might be completely different than what you right. are actually doing. Exactly. Which then could, be, could bring another stress. Because yeah. I know you get that a lot. Like people are like, hey, how's the music? How's this, that? How? And you just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> so how? So how do you how do you manage that? How do I manage? Just people thinking you're doing something that you're not doing, and that's what they always have known you for. But yet you're trying to get out 
I don't know if you're trying to get out of that space, but you're trying to expand, as you said. So right. you're not just simply doing that what they think you're, what they know you, you know, for, which is you know music and you know beat making. Right, right, right. Well, that's definitely been something I've struggled with for for years. It's it it feels like it's kind of like an identity crisis in a sense because until once I started transitioning outside of music. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize just how much I identified myself by my music career and how obsessed I was with it. Yeah, when you say, so you didn't realize it? I didn't really, okay. I, didn't, I mean, I knew what I was into, but it's just like once I kind of stepped away from it and everything, it's just like I identified myself by it so much and everybody else, a lot of other people identified myself by it. So it's, it's it came to a point that when I'm, like my uh, my passions and my interests are changing and mm -hmm. expanding and stuff, it was it's become harder and harder to talk to people about it that don't know me that well right. outside of music or right. didn't know me before I became Booney Mayfield. Okay. So it's like this thing where it's like, I mean, still to this day, yeah. I'm always asked, "Oh, how's music going?" And here I am, it's been years since I really yeah. actively worked on music like that. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, and here I go having to explain myself. Yeah. And I've grown so tired of explaining myself. Cause here I am, I, you know, if I'm explaining myself to, to peers mm -hmm. from the music realm, it's, it's sometimes it's this disconnect where they don't really understand because here I am not feeling the exact same way as I used to about music okay. and they would probably couldn't even imagine feeling the way that I feel because they're still hardcore into it. Right. So it's just like ugh, trying to explain that and then it's even harder to explain it to like fans and okay. because now it feels like I'm disappointing them. I was about to say, do you think they look down on you or do, they, do you think they're like, damn, they just feel disappointed or like? Well, I mean, I, I've, I've experienced people feeling disappointed. It's like, oh, you know, they say, oh, it's, man, uh, I was sad that, that you stopped doing music. Mm -hmm. And that uh, as well, it's always this kind of black and white thing. It's just like, if, if you're not active, if I'm not actively doing music for a while, I quit music. Right. And it's just like, no, I didn't quit music. It's just, just only doing music or doing music this kind of certain way. Right. It's okay. what I'm not doing anymore. Right. And I'm transitioning with other things. So it's just like, I just got tired of explaining that's, myself. That's a lot, that's a lot to explain. Yeah. Cause a lot of them just, they would never know, you know, and you right. can't just, I'm sure you've explained it a hundred times, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, the hundred and first time you're like, dog. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's just, it. I just would like it to speak for itself already. Okay. You know, I, I was talking to one of my friends and, and he, he can understand the frustration because he's just like, you look at someone like Will Smith, right. he doesn't have to explain his, trans nah. his transition. When he transitioned from rapping to acting, he so, already succeeded yeah. in that. I haven't succeeded fully yet in the next step right. in everything. So I'm having to still explain a lot of times while still people are not really getting it. Yeah. And that's where it just gets frustrating. But yeah. what about yourself? Because I know, you know, people probably ask you like, oh, how's things going with acting and, and modeling or, you know, yeah. whatnot? Like, how how you feeling about that? Man, it's, it's tough. It's, it's kind of the same way, but I just, it's just, I just tell them like, hey, like I'm doing different things, you know, because mm -hmm. people know that I moved out here to do that. Right. But it's it's hard out here and they don't realize it. Like I've go, I go to auditions, you know, I've, I've you know, Tried, you know, I've been in the background trying to get roles and this and that. Like I've done quite a lot of stuff where I'm trying to do, but it's just not as, it's not easy. It's not as yeah. easy as people think it is. So it's like, okay, yeah. if they haven't seen you in a commercial lately or they haven't seen you in anything lately, you know, it's like, hey, how's it going? It's like, well, I mean, I still do those things. I still, try, you know, I still, I'm still trying to go to class and stuff. You know, it's been a while just because of some other reasons, but it's like, I'm still trying to do those things, but that's not, that's not what I am. Like, don't. Yeah. Don't just label me as like, oh, you're an actor, because no, yeah. I'm not. Like, there's a lot more to me than yeah. just that. And that's right. what I'm trying to explore now. Yeah. And 
people, if they don't see you, they just, they, they, but, and most of the time they're genuinely like interested. They just want to know, know mm -hmm. that you're doing well, but it's like sometimes it kind of is detrimental because then you're thinking about it and you can kind of see the disappointment in their face when they're like, when you're like, yeah. oh, it's going well, but you know, then they might think, well, I haven't seen you lately and you know, all this yeah. other stuff. So, yeah. I mean, that's just, that's just yeah. the nature of the business. Like, and then, you gotta let them think what they think and you think what you think and just move with what you know and yes. what you do and yes. not be worried about what people say because if you are always affected by what they say or what they think about you, or you ain't never gonna have a, oh. a smile on your face, like ever, because now everybody has an opinion, everybody's on Twitter, this, that, everybody can say anything about you. So you have You're to right. be well within yourself and yeah. what you do <laughs> before you can, you know, before you can move and just be, and be free with who you want to be and do what you want to do. And content, so. yes. And be content, basically. Yes, yes and be. And, and going along with, you know, what you're saying, it's just about when people are asking, you know, how's this going? How's mm -hmm. that going and stuff? Um, I think there, there would often be a feeling of shame that I would experience oh, yeah, going with that. I used to feel a lot of shame going back home to Colorado. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like, especially during times where I'm going through low times where things are, seem stagnant and just not coming together mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm broke, <laughs> like struggle, like I could barely afford the ticket to get out there, exactly. you know, for whatever, a wedding right. or a good celebration or something. Right. And so when I get out there and, you know, of course people ask you like, how's things going yeah. in LA and stuff like that, I would just feel the shame, like I don't have much of anything to show for mm -hmm. while I've been out there. Cause mm -hmm. you know, you're going out there to pursue these big dreams right. and you're looking forward to the day to come back home with a victory. Right, like right, right. I won. It's right. almost like, you know, I, I mentioned it to Janie's one time. It's like, you know, sometimes I feel like, you know, when David went out to go face Goliath mm -hmm. and everything, and then he came back with Goliath's head. Oh yeah, that's, you know that's how saying? you want to do it. And that's how I want to come back feeling, but mm -hmm. I'm just like, sometimes I've been feeling like I'm going out there, I'm coming back with Goliath's foot in my ass. <laughs> yeah, or like you, honestly, or you just ain't like, came back. What happened just to like, he man, I'm getting my butt kicked <laughs> yeah. and I can't, I don't have no victories to share of, of stuff like that, but it, it changed. It changed a bit, mm -hmm. where it's like, cause back home, it's like with 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 my my family and my close friends, my my ride or dies. Mm -hmm. I know whether I succeed, fail, or stay, wherever I am, they love and appreciate me for who I am. It's not about what I'm doing. It's about who I am and who right. I always was. So that that shifted. I, I don't feel that kind of shame going back home now, but mm -hmm. I do still feel the shame. And I and much more than I felt going back home. I still feel the shame anytime I'm putting myself back out here online with my projects and everything, and especially YouTube. Right. Because that's been the platform that, that my kinda, career has been yeah, seen that is, on. That has validated you to for the past yeah. 12 years. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I feel shame. I mean, even when, you know, getting ready to post this first episode, I'm yeah. excited about it. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm feeling nervous, like, man, What's I don't know if people are going like? to just be like, well, you know, there's the part of the views, but there's also the part of just like, man, how many people are going to be out there feeling like, man, I don't want to hear him talk. Right. I think it's like, where, where's the beats? Beats, uh, yeah. where's, where's the, the music? music? Yeah. Where's the NPC? Mm -hmm. Where's the this and this and this? And mm -hmm. it's just like, there's this feeling of shame of, all these projects that I have done, mm -hmm. putting it out on YouTube, all the short films, videos, albums, all this stuff. And it's just like things still haven't taken off. Yeah. And sometimes that just, it is this feeling like, I feel like all the naysayers and doubters, right. I feel like I'm failing right in front of. Because it's like I put out something and it's just like, Man, you should go back to doing this. Why you blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I'm just like, nah, I ain't following keep, my heart yeah, and going. I keep doing it, but nothing's happening. And mm -hmm. they just sitting back like. Just enjoy it. it. See, just, see, I you. told you so. Right. And so sometimes I get it, it's that struggle of feeling like, man, of all, do, do, is all the people that believe in me mm -hmm. and that support me, including myself, have they been wrong? And all the doubters and the naysayers, have they been right? Because right now on the outside, 
from looking it from when you're just yeah. basing it on sight alone, mm -hmm. that's what it could look like. Right. You know, and that's where I struggle sometimes is just shifting my perspective away from sight back to faith and belief and what is not Which seen just, yet. Yeah, because everyone's just talking about what they see. Right. You know, and right. then sometimes I'm even struggling with what I see. I'm like, oh, man, man we're human. Okay. Like I mean we're human. Like that you that know. That's inevitable, you know. Yeah. Like, you know. So, so in with that comes, you know, just the feeling of all these constant attempts, and things ain't panning out yet, yeah. and just feel like quitting, man. Like yeah. sometimes, I, I mean, even recently, a lot of times I have expressed to to friends and people like, man, I don't. Sometimes I don't know if I got enough strength anymore to keep right. going with this. Yeah, that's, yeah, it gets it gets tough, man. I guess yeah. tough, especially as you said. Obviously, financially, living in L.A., L.A. Yeah. probably the, one of the least cheapest places to live in, in the States. Right. So it's like, obviously, you got the financial pressures. Yeah. But then you got the pressures of, you know, as you said, the people that, probably that people that, you know, that supported you from the beginning, you don't want to let them down. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I get that, too, because even the pressures I have, like, I... I feel like even just for me, I just feel like sometimes my parents, because I'm like, yo, I know they, you know, they came to this country. They did a lot to, you know, you know, they're from Ghana. They did a lot to kind of set me up to be right. successful, but I didn't, I didn't continue with the route that they had thought I should have, you know, I, I had done. Especially with my mom, like we're still cool about it, but I know it to this day it still kind of hurts that I didn't continue my my doctorate. Yeah. Um, but it's just like that's not what I was trying to do, man. Right. Like, that wasn't right. in my heart, you know. So. Yeah. So sometimes it's hard even, you know, even calling them, like, because they're always, you know, they're, they're always caring, you know, they don't even live here no more, they're back in Ghana. Uh -huh. But they're like, always like, oh, how's it going? You know, so sometimes, I don't, honestly, I don't even talk to my mom about anything entertainment, to be honest, because mm -hmm. sometimes she just doesn't understand, like even yeah. doesn't understand how things work. Mm -hmm. they, it, you might take a hundred auditions before you get one call back, you know, mm -hmm. that's stuff she just, she just doesn't realize she's not yeah. been in that space ever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sometimes if you're not in that space, you just don't know. Don't, I'd be like yeah. me, in in I don't know in I don't know in the, in the cooking in the kitchen cooking like I just don't understand what goes with what what, what, what I don't know yeah. I just, it's so you know yeah. so just foreign to me yeah so it's, it's just like when you're talking to somebody about that they just don't understand and my mom just sometimes she just kind of doesn't understand so she thinks I'm not doing nothing or right. just sometimes just like nah I am but it's tough yeah. it's tough but everything is tough so and, and it takes time and it takes time it takes, and it time. takes time but sometimes you know you they, you know people want you to do well so they're it's not like they have bad intentions for you they yeah. want you to do well but sometimes they just think hey you got to try something else you got to yeah. do this you got to do this but sometimes just like yo I know what I want to do or yeah. or maybe you might not know what you want to do but you know what in what direction you want to go yeah. you have to like we're grown people you know what I'm saying yeah. you're not we're exactly. not kids you can't I, I don't I'm one I don't feel like anybody should should um, force somebody to do anything. I feel like even God Himself gave us free will, like to choose right. Him or, or not. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. the, why, is, why is another human? I'm forcing somebody else to do something. So I don't, I don't believe in all that. You can lead somebody, but I don't feel like you should shun somebody or something because they're not doing nothing. So it's 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 not your place to not. really at the end of the day. Like um, I don't know. Have you have you ever read the or heard about the book The Alchemist? I have. I have. Okay. Well. Um, in the alchemist, there there is this part in there where it's just like you are not so uh, a person is not supposed to interfere with somebody else's personal legend, mm -hmm. which practically their purpose, their right. their destiny. Like you're not meant to interfere with what you know is meant for them. Mm -hmm. You know you're focusing on yours and 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 stuff like that. And even even in that book and the 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 main character Santiago. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's going through this journey, and he started off as a shepherd. Mm -hmm. And starting off as a shepherd, he has this dream to pursue and and attain this treasure. But in the process, he leaves behind being a shepherd. He mm -hmm. sells his sheep. He goes off into this journey of uncertainty. Right. And through it, as he's getting further and further, and these you know roadblocks come, and he's having to stay in this one spot for a little while, while right. you know Fair getting prepared for the next thing. Yeah. There's always these points where he could just go right back right. to being a shepherd. Mm -hmm. He could go right back to doing it mm -hmm. and stuff. But it's just like, man. I've come this far, so you might as well keep just keep going because I don't want to end up like there's this picture 
of uh, these cartoon characters. Mm -hmm. There's one at the top and one at the bottom, and they're digging through to go towards oh, this ground of diamonds. diamonds. Yeah, yeah, of the diamonds. Yeah, you have that. the one at the top that's just an inch away from it, yeah. and he already quit, and right. he's walking, walking back, back with, with his pick yeah, and yeah, stuff. And then you see the one below him going in, like, I'm yeah. going in, yeah. like, he's not going to stop. Yeah. The person just gave up right at that last. Where that, where that breakthrough was going to That gonna, breakthrough was, was right there. So mm -hmm. it's just like, I don't want to be the one where it's like, yeah. you know, you can, it, 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 it is like driving in the fog yeah. at night. Yeah. You know, when you drive, drive in a foggy night, you can't see yeah. past Man, like scary. several feet yeah, that's, uh, yeah. ahead of you. Mm -hmm. and, and go ahead and try to turn them brights on. Yeah. The, as soon as you try to turn all the brights, the light reflects back right. at you. It just makes it worse. Right. So it's just like, nah, you just have to be you, content what you, with what you can already can see, see right in front and of you, keep, just keep going. going. Yeah. And every once in a while, there's going to be road signs that, that come in, that let you know, keep going, right. keep going. Right. And I, I consider those, you know, people or signs that come across right. that it's just like, that give you confirmation, like mm -hmm. I'm on the right track. Right. I'm not there yet, mm -hmm. but I gotta keep going. Gotta keep and going. so, so yeah. And I, nobody, nobody that's successful, it, it didn't happen overnight. That's so cliche, but it's the, it's, it, it's facts. Nope. It's facts, it, nobody. Nobody. I don't care who <laughs> you think, who just, Nobody was just instant, like instantly successful. Yeah, no. They did a lot to get to where they needed to, to be to even show their projects or whatever it is that made them successful. Like there was a lot behind it. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that's something that you know we just gotta always remind ourselves. Like exactly. just as you said, like that picture with the with the with the miner. Like just keep going. Just keep going. Like imagine right before you then you mm -hmm. just you, you would never know. But still, it's just like. Why did you stop? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Why, like, why did you stop? Keep, keep going. Then where you, are you going? And you have a life of regret, and that exactly. can eat you up. And that's another story in, exactly. in itself. So. Exactly. A thing that I have really been um, uh, experiencing and, and trying to keep reminding myself about the lows mm -hmm. is there was this uh, thing that, that Janie said to me one time. She, like, compared, you know, the, the, the process kind of like, I guess, the stock market or in, in some way where it's just like the journey looks, it never looks like this, just straight up like that. It looks like this yeah. going up and stuff. So there's there's these highs and there's these dips mm -hmm. and, and all that. But in the process, in, in, in the process, that just means that the lows that you are at now are higher than the lows you were at before. In right. fact, they're higher than the highs right. that you were at before. before. No, that's true. And so when I thought about that, I was just like, man, that really <clears throat> gave me some more perspective where I started thinking about, I was like, man, okay, if we could take the version of ourselves from five years ago, 2014. Five, let's see, five, five years ago, let me think yeah. about that, okay. So, so before, that was before we moved out here to yeah, LA. Yeah. Yeah, and too. so I'm thinking, okay, if, us five years ago could see ourselves now, mm -hmm. five years ahead, going through the lows that we're going through right now, mm -hmm. the things that we're fretting about, the things that we're stressing about, the things that we're struggling with. <laughs> We'd be looking at, at us like a head like, I'm like you fool. what you tripping about? Yeah. Like, oh, I I'm trying to get to where you're at. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, I don't mind switching spaces right. if you don't want, because it's just like, I'm, you know, where I was five years ago, I was still dreaming of living here. Yeah. I was still. No, that's true. It hoping, was, yeah, yeah. It was like a fantasy. Hoping yeah. to, yeah, to, to, to get out here and uh -huh. just be functioning and, right. and have things together. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not exactly where I want to be just yet, right. but I'm a lot further than I was yeah. five years ago. Mm -hmm. Where I'm at right now, when I look at where I was five years ago, I look back and I'm like, man, all the things that I was stressing and fretting about then, wasn't anything really to worry about. Right. Because I've overcome all those obstacles. I could have just been a little more content, right. not stressing about certain things back then because I've overcome those things. Right. Why can't I just remind myself now that these things are gonna to come to pass, right. I'm gonna be all right, right. And, and and start to have more faith right. in the journey. Yeah, that actually reminds me of a quote. I don't even know why I heard it. I think I, I think it was in a rap song or something. I don't know, but somebody said, I talked to my, I talk to my future, 
I don't have to be worried about my now or something like that. Mm. Or not, and it resonated with me. It, I was like, yo, that's, that's facts. Because if you like, if you see yourself in the future, it, you would be like, why am I, why am I tripping now? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, that it, it, it it's like insanity. Exactly. So that's the, it, it's like, why not have yeah. a more a, a better perspective yeah. instead of just being and and and, and to the people out there who who love and pride themselves and being on, on being pessimist hey do you yeah, that's that not for you, me. you know if you see the glass half empty all you want right. but i'm right. i'm trying my best yeah. to see the glass half full right. I'm going I'm to get goes, some Kool-Aid and, packs yeah. and put some sugar in that bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make something sweet out of my yeah. life. So <laughs> that's And pass it around. That's where I'm at, yeah. where I'm trying to be. Yeah. And it's just like, I think it's a a good reminder to yourself, to, to ourselves when we are in these low moments. Because, man, I mean, financially right now, bro. Man, I don't even, I'll tell you, I have my student loans from that doctor program. Yeah, I am, different. So I, I, I am definitely on. short on some important bills right now, <laughs> and I'm being real about that. Yeah. I think that's what we have to start doing, because yeah. as you said in your posts on Instagram, is is just like, you know, on social media, everyone's just showcasing the highlights, their highlights, yeah, the highlights and the highlights, but they don't show the struggle you, to get to those highlights. And honestly, it'd be, it'd, to every highlight is... Like there's like seven struggles to each highlight to, to get to honestly. it, honestly. And it's like, and we have to start. It's it's cool to share mm -hmm. the struggle after. It's like, oh, yeah. I got to this highlight, yeah. and I went through this and this and this. No, let's let's start expressing ourselves while we're going through yeah, the struggle. Yeah, but, and then, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's more inspiring right. to people because it's like we were talking about Tyler Perry last last time, mm -hmm. just like when he was homeless, living out of his car. Do you know how inspiring it would have been see, if like, he like was he an able, video or something if he was able to, to document yeah. his yeah. struggle at yeah. the time, if yeah. we were able to see journal entries right. or video documents of him talking like, man, I mean, I'm going through it. I'm yeah. I'm broke. I I yeah. my life savings are gone. I don't know if this is going to work. Mm -hmm. And then even if it took another four or five years right. from there. We see where he's at yeah, now, yeah. but we can go back and see, oh, wow, this, yeah, he, he this really is when was, he was yeah. going through it. He really it. was going through it. Yeah. Because sometimes when you just see the highlight, you're only, it's just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. the struggle is there. No, no, like, it's not let's real. see the it's struggle. Not, yeah, it's not real unless, you can always talk about it, but exactly. people need to see it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So, we struggling, y'all. <laughs> say, say it again. We struggling. Yo. We struggling. But, it, but it, the thing is, like, and that's why we're doing this, it's not about... Glorifying the struggle because it's like some people that's all they talk about is the like they don't see anything positive yeah. and I'm always like I try to see the positive in anything even if even in a death like let's see the positive like this what did the person do to affect other like in everything you need let's to see, see the positive. positive as long as you wake up the next day you got family that loves you you got your you're, you got breath you you got hope you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's like in everything. See the positive. So and even in, in all this struggle, I'm looking at it as a testimony. Like sure. this is this is. The, I'm glad we're doing this because this is the testimony. So three years from now, whatever it is, mm -hmm. or maybe by God's grace, we don't have that financial struggle no more. People can be like, "Yo, check back to them videos back in 2019." You know exactly. what I'm saying? These dudes this did had this and this, but now look, maybe we have our own TV show. Maybe exactly. we also. I don't exactly. know. Whatever it may be, <laughs> yeah. it'll show the progression. Exactly. And that we weren't afraid to. Let people know about you know what we're going through in this in this life, especially I'm, here in LA. This whole entertainment thing, trying to figure ourselves out. So. I'm with you, man, yeah. and that, and that's why, as I said, we're struggling, but we're counting our blessings. Amen. And that's what you gotta. You that's what to. you gotta start doing in your life. You, you know, to. even with you know counting your blessings, even when it doesn't feel, mm -hmm. you don't feel like it because sometimes it feels good in a weird way <laughs> to mm, be just down mm -hmm. and about everything and just like whatever yeah. it's it's not like consciously feeling good but right. something in you is just like fine well, whatever well, sometimes you need don't I mean we're all humans yeah we're exactly humans, sometimes, so. sometimes you gotta vent yeah. express yourself yeah. please express yourself yeah. don't, you don't, know about don't what you're going don't, don't bottle don't, it in because no. It, it turns to illnesses. Yeah, it, it turns to crazy. It sickness, makes you go, all those, mental sickness, physical, physical sickness, sickness, stress, all, all of blood, it. high blood pressure. All that stuff is yeah. is attributed to stressors. You know what exactly. I'm saying in, in life. So, 
um, yeah, definitely talk about it. Definitely talk about it. Like, this helps me. Like, this helps me. Like, it's one, thing to, you know, it's one thing to talk to my wife as well. And, but it's good to talk to other people, you know. Yeah. Some people don't have another person to help. So you got to, if you got to, if you got to talk to one of your homies, one of your homegirls, your parents, yeah. somebody, talk to somebody. That you have. Talk and to don't somebody. Be afraid. DM somebody. I don't no, know. Like, it, yo. Whatever you can do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, episode That's, two. Episode two. We, we, we did it again, yeah. man. We got some here. I, I agree. We got some here. I, I'm loving the, the, everything is just coming more and flow. And, just keep yeah. doing what we're doing. Let it grow organically. And then, uh, I'm looking forward to the next. We're gonna be, we're gonna so, be, we're gonna be all right. Before you know it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we're gonna be vets at this. Yes, we are. Oh, jeez. The chopper. <laughs> the chopper.